on them. A new kind of scam is taking shape as COVID-19 vaccines roll out nationwide. News Sense Bree Shackelford spoke with an FBI agent and has more on his warning for you in tonight's scam alert. Since the start of the pandemic, the Federal Bureau of Investigations has recorded an increase in scams. The reason? More people staying inside and being online. As coronavirus vaccines roll out and registering for vaccine appointments happens online, the FBI wants to warn you about scammers targeting you. These scams can come in the form of fake emails, fake websites, and fake social media posts. Sometimes the bad actors are able to make those things look legitimate, and people click on them and then think that they're registering. Um, but then if, you, if somebody has done that and then they're asked to provide information, that you wouldn't normally provide, like your social security number, or your ask to provide payment, that's when you know you need to stop. Agent Brooks says scammers are trying to capitalize on people's fear of COVID-19. He tells me scammers are tricking people by saying things like, if you pay a certain amount, you'll get moved up on the list to get a vaccine. Or scammers are saying you need to get other tests done before you get the vaccine, and you have to pay for those as well. He says you shouldn't pay for anything related to the vaccine at all, and that's a surefire sign you may be getting scammed. The main thing that goes back really to all kinds of financial scams, if it doesn't make sense and you're asked to pay for something that you shouldn't have to pay for or that you absolutely know that you don't, like the vaccine, then now you're, that's a red flag. Agent Brooks says only go to trusted government websites or trusted medical sites to sign up to get the vaccine. He says doing this will lessen your chance of getting scammed. If you have been a victim to these scams or if you see something that doesn't seem right, you can report directly to the FBI at IC3.gov. Back to you. And, of course, you can find complete coronavirus coverage on our website. That's WTHITV.com.